Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into Google Cloud Next 2025. And let me tell you, this year's keynote was wild. A conference packed with AI innovation so big, they are bringing the Wizard of Oz back to life on massive screens. Let's break down the top announcements and why they matter to you, even if you are not a tech wizard. First up, Ironwood TPUs. So think of this as Google's turbocharged engines for AI. But before we geek out, let's break down what a TPU even is. TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit, a custom Google chip built specifically for AI tasks. Now, meet Ironwood, their 7th gen model. Why should you care? Let's watch the keynote clip. Today, we introduced our 7th generation of TPUs, Ironwood. Ironwood TPUs are our largest and most powerful TPU pods to date, more than a 10x improvement from our most recent high-performance TPU, with over 9,000 chips per pod. To meet the exponentially growing demands of the most demanding thinking models, like Gemini 2.5, this delivers a staggering 42.5 exaflops of compute per pod. To give you a sense of the scale, the world's number one supercomputer supports 1.7 exaflops. Ironwood pods offer more than 24 times that compute power. Ironwood TPUs are truly built for the next generation of AI workloads. 42.5 exaflops. Let's translate that. One exaflop equals a quintillion calculations per second. So Ironwood does 42.5 quintillion. That's like every person on Earth solving 5 million math problems every second and it's 24 times faster than today's top supercomputer. So this means faster, cheaper AI for everything, from healthcare to generating memes. So next, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Google's smartest AI model yet. It just topped the chatbot arena leaderboard, beating rivals like GPT-4, but the real star Gemini 2.5 Flash, designed to be fast, and affordable. We're bringing VLLM to TPUs. This allows customers who optimize PyTorch with VLLM for GPUs to easily and cost efficiently run their workloads on TPUs. All of these AI hypercomputer hardware and software enhancements together enable us to deliver more intelligence or useful AI output at a consistently low price. This is one reason why Gemini 2.0 Flash, powered by AI hypercomputer, achieves 24 times higher intelligence per dollar compared to GPT-40 and five times higher than DeepSeek R1. We're truly seeing tremendous momentum across our AI infrastructure portfolio, tripling the number of TPU and GPU hours consumed by our cloud customers just over the past year. And we're seeing tremendous customer momentum with AI unicorns like Anthropic, AnyScale, Arise, and Contextual AI, and enterprises. Flash is like the budget airline of AI models. No frills, but gets you there cheaply. For example, Deutsche Bank uses Gemini to turn 400 page reports into three page summaries. Imagine you're a startup. Flash lets you process 1000 customer queries for the price of a coffee. Meanwhile, GPT 4.0 costs you a latte per query. Google Cloud offers an AI optimized platform with leading price, performance, precision, and quality. And new today, everything you need to build and manage multi-agent systems. Our AI platform offers advanced infrastructure and databases, world-class research leading models, and grounding for model responses with Google quality search. Vertex AI, a robust developer platform, including the broadest range of enterprise-ready tools with which you can build AI agents and enable a multi-agent ecosystem, and the most comprehensive portfolio of purpose-built agents. Vertex AI is Google's all-in-one platform for building AI tools. Think of it as an app store for AI. Want Meta Slama 4? Imagine 3 for generating images? Yes, no problem. They've even added live API for real-time voice video interactions. But the real game changer? Agent Space. The new Agent Space lets employees chat with AI agents that handle tasks. Watch this demo. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to be a relationship manager at a bank. Starting with a quick tour, this is my homepage, authenticated and personalized just for me. The agent gallery lets me see my company's approved selection of purpose-built agents, including ones powered by third-party models like Llama and Claude. You see we've got some Google-made agents, we have agents that my bank has made available to me, either ones we've created or ones built by partners, and then the best part, my own personal agents which I can build directly inside agent space with this button over here, or even easier, just from having a little conversation. 
Let's see how easy it is to create an agent to automate a daily task. Now it's critical for me to stay on top of what's going on with my clients. So I start every morning with a portfolio analysis. And I'm gonna use a clipboard because no one wants to watch me typing. Run an analysis of my client portfolio and identify potential risks and opportunities. This only uses information that I have permission to access. It knows which clients are mine and summarizes top points from my data sources like OneDrive, Salesforce, or Dun & Bradstreet's. If I have questions, I have a direct link to my sources here. And if I need even more control, I can refine that list of sources. But agent space doesn't just summarize information. It's interpreting my question and surfacing what matters most. For example, in this chart, I can see agent spaces flag that Acme General Contracting might have some cash flow problems in the future. Already, it's given me a massive report, which is gonna save me a ton of manual research. And I can go ahead and read this later. But for now, let's set up an agent so I can keep an eye on Acme. Agent Space automatically generates an agent plan based on our conversation so far. And this is good, but I think I want more. I'm gonna have it generate an audio summary and send it to my inbox so I can listen to it on my morning commute. And just like that, I have built my own custom agent to use whenever I want without writing a single line of code. Now, Agent Space has identified a cash flow problem with Acme General Contracting. I need to dig into that. Maybe this is a problem with construction in general and not specific to Acme. Agent Space has already identified that possibility as a suggested follow-up. So now let's go ahead and deep dive into general contracting industry trends. This activates Google's Enterprise Deep Research Agent, which starts by telling me what it plans to research and in what order. At this point, I could edit this plan if I wanted to, but it looks pretty good, so I'll start the research. Now I do want to call out, we've cached the plan and the results here. Normally this would take a little bit longer. This agent is pulling in real-time information from Google search to build its report. But even cooler, it's also searching my internal enterprise data and adjusting this plan in real time, adding additional questions based on what it's gonna find along the way. And again, an incredibly insightful analysis, including some source links, but thankfully, here at the bottom, it also is gonna give me a great succinct executive summary. Let's take a quick look at this. Yep, I can see Acme General Contracting is likely being affected by rising material costs, supply chain disruptions, and regulatory complexities that pose significant hurdles. That's really great. I mean, okay, maybe not for Acme, but the analysis is really great. I don't want Acme to be surprised by this at all. So I'm gonna have our bank's cash flow agent do some forecasting across the next three quarters for me. This agent uses Google's new time series forecasting model, which is specifically trained for scenarios just like this. And again, I'm gonna get a super clear, very, very clear summary with at the bottom, some great recommended steps for Acme. And I need them to see it right away so I can ask Agent Space, Draft me an email to Acme General Contracting CEO requesting a meeting for next week. And just like that, I've got the draft ready to go. And even better, I can send it off directly from within Agent Space, so I don't even have to switch to Outlook or Gmail. I'm all set. And Agent Space has saved my session, so I can prep for that meeting right where I left off whenever I'm ready. Let's go ahead and recap. While I don't actually work for a bank, the value that Agent Space adds is very real. It's so easy to interact with all of your enterprise data and tools in one place and build and use agents directly from that conversational workflow. Powered by Gemini 2.5 and Google search technology, Agent Space is the only hyperscaler platform on the market that can connect to third-party data and tools and offers interoperability with, interoperability with third-party agents and models. For companies with strict regulatory needs, like a bank, Agent, Agent Space provides stringent access controls at the employee level and can operate within your own VPC, ensuring that your data stays yours while meeting all of your requirements. Agent Space is a game changer, and we can't wait to see how you all put it to work. Thanks. See how the banker built an agent to analyze data and email clients? No coding needed. Agent Space lets employees chat with AA agents that pull data from Salesforce, Gmail, or even your cat's Instagram. Need a report? Type, hey AI, summarize my Q2 sales, and boom, it's done. No coding needed. It's like a voice assistant on your iPhone, but only if it's had a PhD in business analytics. Google's creative tools just got Hollywood level upgrades. VO2 generates 4K video from text. They used it to remake the Wizard of Oz for Vegas Fear. Let's see the magic. We're gonna use Vertex Media to pump Thomas up 
and create a teaser video that's gonna get you as amped up as I am. Given where we are, we're gonna use Las Vegas Skyline as a perfect drop backdrop for what we're gonna do with Vertex AI Media Studio. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start by bringing in the Las Vegas Skyline image. Really high quality, beautiful image. We're gonna generate video, but here's the new hotness. Check it out. Camera presets built right into VO. Panning left, panning right, time lapse, tracking shots, and even drone shots. So let's go ahead and submit a drone shot in drone shot of the city skyline. There we go. We'll go and submit this. Now normally this would take a few seconds. I ran this earlier today, so it's cached, so it's gonna be a little quicker than normal. All right, let's look at video number one. Absolutely spectacular. We have the ability to see the fountains, the Eiffel Tower. Now let's go ahead and take a look at video number two. A different angle that VO creates for us. Again, stunning imagery. You can see the clouds in the background and look at the cars driving up and down Las Vegas Boulevard. Absolutely incredible. Now, one video is not gonna do it for the concert promo we wanna do, so I wanna show you some of the other videos that I created. I have one here of the stage being set up all through the power of VO. I have one of the band. I even have one of the audience actually clapping for what they're about to see. This will be a good reminder for all of you. Now, something very interesting happened. It turns out that VO can do something that my 12-year-old can do, and that is be an expert in photobombing. It turns out that this great video we just saw has a crew member, and we love our crew members. However, in this case, I'd like to feature the guitar because the guitar is the most important part of the band. So let's go ahead and use VO's new in-painting capability. And I'm sorry, sir, I apologize. I know you're very good at your job, but I am going to have to remove you from this image. We will send flowers to you and your family though, sir. Let's use the new in-painting capability, wait a couple of seconds, and let's see what we see. Now, if this does what I think it does, look at that. Okay, so we got some video clips. Now we need some music. You know, that's not quite my tempo. I need music that's gonna make all of you feel like I'm never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna run around and desert you. So let's try clip number two and see how that works. We've got the videos, we've got the music. Let's pull it all together and see what it looks like. Here we go, play it, Sam. What do you think? That Las Vegas skyline, entirely AI generated, no more expensive photo shoots. They also announced Lyria, which composes original music. To transform text prompts into 30 second music clips and we're the first hyperscaler to offer this capability. So now let's have a look at the unified security. With great AI comes great responsibility. Google Unified Security, or GUS, auto blocks threats. Watch this developer, Supsi, gets fixed in real time. So now, what have you been up to? Well, I was trying to test this app, and let's just keep this between us. I might have made a few mistakes along the way. Go on. Well, to speed up development, I installed a Chrome extension which helps me test my prompts across multiple public LLMs. You know, I didn't think anything of it at the time. Hmm, let's see what's going on here. Well, Nav, while you were doing this, which is a legitimate action and Chrome extension, there may have been a potential data leak. As you see here in the centralized risk dashboard that prioritizes risk across all my company's assets and activities, Gus detected that you were copying and pasting sensitive data into the public LLM models. Now, if I click here further, Gemini's agentic AI has automatically triaged this alert, confirmed the data leak with high confidence, and taken an automated response to quarantine that specific Chrome extension immediately. Wow, this would have taken me days to figure out in other tools. Wait, so Gus detected what I was doing and stopped it automatically? But I mean, why is it even a big deal that I was testing my prompts like this in the first place? Well, because those prompts could contain confidential company data. Gus protected not only you, 
but mitigated insider risk by updating Chrome policy for the entire organization. Well, now that I look at it, the agent has picked up on a few other correlated risks. Is there anything else you want to tell me about now? Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, I wanted to test my application, so I spun up a VM. You know, I just wanted to get things working really quickly, so I might have been a little bit lax with those firewall settings. Hmm. There is something interesting going on with that uh, VM. Gus detected malicious traffic to that VM and automatically associated that with an emerging threat actor that the Google Threat Intel team has been tracking. Wait, hold up. So you're saying that while I was testing my app for just a few hours, somebody's trying to break into it? Exactly. In the world of security, a few hours could be a lifetime nav. Well, Gus recognized the risk in real time and took action. That's wild. Is there anything else that Gus thinks I should be doing to protect my application? Yeah. The agent here recommends that we harden your AI model with Model Armor, its new AI protection capabilities. So you will see here, at the click of a button, it will take a minute here. At the click of this button, you will see that Model Armor starts analyzing inputs in real time, in line, blocking malicious inputs before they reach the model. Okay, so Gus is able to detect all risks in one place, connect the dots and take action, you know, as a developer, it really gives me peace of mind knowing that Gus has my back at all times. Yes, Nav. And Gus not only has your back on this environment in Google Cloud, Gus is an integrated open platform that can protect any environment, any data from endpoint, firewall, networks, identity, really any cloud, any model. Further, for added protection, we have access to Gus's expertise in incident response and threat hunting around the clock. Well, I'm super excited that Google is a part of our security team. Thank you, everyone. Back to you, Thomas, to take us home. So see how Gus spotted a data leak and then quarantined it? He's like a digital superhero. So what's the big takeaway? Google's betting on open, multi-agent ecosystems. Whether it's TPUs crunching data, Gemini answering questions, or VO making movies, they're building tools for everyone, not just giant tech. Drop a comment, which announcement excited you most, smash the like button, subscribe. Until then, stay curious, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next one.